Hello, namaste. It's Leanne Peters here from templeofbalance.com.au, Temple of Balance on Facebook and Temple of Balance on YouTube. And I'm here to share some guidance for Thursday and Friday. That's Thursday the 19th. No, it's not. What day is it? I've got the wrong... I had my paper around the other, for the other day. Just excuse me a moment. I'll turn my paper around. It's actually Thursday the 22nd and Friday the 23rd of November is why I'm here. Hello, Judy, one of our top fans. Lovely to see you. Samar's one of our top fans too. Hello, Samar. I trust that you're all feeling fantastic and that things are flowing well for you. And if they're not flowing well, then sending you lots of love. And I do trust that something shared will help support you at this time. So thank you. Hello, Linda. Linda says good night from California. Good night to you. Hi, Carol. Hi, Shoshana. Did the owl get there okay? Yes, my owl did get to the exhibition room a okay <laughs> with the seatbelt on. I'm very, um, this big owl, I don't know if you've seen, I've posted it on social media on my Instagram and Facebook. I've, it's about nine months in the making and um, I attached it and assembled it all the week before we went camping so that I didn't have to think about it this week. So it was done. And I'm very aware that uh, every step of the way, including the step in to the art exhibition, is all um, needs to be quite delicate with this creation um, because it's it's worked out, and I don't want to smash something off it, you know, the moment before it it enters the exhibition. So very careful with my transport, but it's all fine. It's sitting perched on its table. Hello, Ricky, one of our top fans. I trust you're well. Hi, Sarah from Cyprus. Hi, Kendra. Chantelle, good evening to you, one of our top fans. And Pillar is a top fan. Good morning. Hi, Ruben. Lovely to see you. Hi, Laurie. Lots of love to you too. Bronwyn's a top fan. Hi, Bronwyn. And Samar's from Sweden. Lovely to see you too. Hi, Mary, Marilyn. Marilyn? What a nice name. I probably totally butchered it, but um, it, it looks nice. And Marilyn, I think, from Germany. Hello. Hi, Valentina, one of our top fans. And lots and lots and lots of you um, have popped in to say hello. So hello and welcome. So I'm here to share some guidance, as I said before. Extra special welcome to my Temple of Balance patrons, my Pillar of Light family, and all of those of you who do support my work through my website, thank you so much for your support. Also, welcome to my Facebook top fans. And we've got like 346, I think it was, um, I saw just a, an hour or so ago. So thank you to all of you who are interacting so much to uh, reach that top fan status, which is something that Facebook decides. If it's not something you're interested in, it doesn't matter, but if you... Um, enjoy it and you enjoy my work it's probably a good thing to have there and I notice that top fans seem to see things in the news feed um, so that's also a bonus this day and age so I'm coming to you live from Tasmania Australia it is Thursday the 22nd here of November at exactly 6 33 on the 22nd of the 11th that sounds like a perfect time to start if you ask me so if you're new welcome what I'm going to be doing is using my combined Animal Kingdom and Speed of Light Oracle cards. We have a combined two decks to make 110 cards. And I'm going to be shuffling these and finding the best card for Thursday the 22nd and then the best card for Friday the 23rd and then the best card for the theme for Thursday and Friday. I'm not doing personal guidance here. I don't do that on my videos. So um, I trust that something shared will help support you. This is general guidance for everyone. So I trust you've been led here for a reason. Remember to take on board what feels right for you and let the rest go. 
let's let ourselves be surprised and think of this as just a guide only. So I'm looking for the best card for Thursday the 22nd. How do I know that I'll find the best card? I've just got to be confident and trust in my cards, trust in my intuition and trust that I will stop at the right time, split the cards in the right place and have the right card on top. So this is the best card for Thursday the 22nd of November. It is the lion. He hasn't come up before. It's card 11. Cha-ching! <laughs> We've got lots of synchronised numbers happening here, haven't we? It's lion number 11 and the key words down here say, be balanced with your responsibilities. So he's reminding us on Thursday to, I get this kind of um, leader stepping into our power kind of feeling here. Um, also a sense of pride in ourselves, um, perhaps feeling proud about what we've achieved, where uh, this moment we've reached in our life. Probably, uh, <laughs> sorry, I combined probably and something else, some other word I'd forget now. Um, <laughs> and there's probably is something that we've been uh, focusing on lately or focusing on this year that has kind of come to a, uh, it's kind of been accomplished or something um, might have completed. There might be a sense of completion with something we've been working on. So a sense of pride, personal pride in what we have created, what we have achieved and this point that we've reached in our life. So there's a sense of personal power and sort of a... Um, a confidence uh, sort of feeling here that's coming from this card. There's also a part of this um, this message from Lion is about thinking about um, if we're struggling at this time, looking at what we might need to take responsibility for. So, you know, sometimes when we're struggling, we look at what's wrong in our life, what happened to us, what that person said or what this person did or didn't do. And we can tend to um, externalise and almost finger point or blame um, other things or other people for how we feel. And this card's very much about reminding us to um, do our best to turn that externalising inward and take responsibility for how we feel. Because when we take responsibility for how we feel about something, then we're taking our power back to sort out our emotions or what we're dealing with so that we can um, step forward again in our life. When we're constantly or if we're in a space or a, a phase of externalizing and finger pointing and blaming and, and really not taking responsibility for how we feel, or what's going on, then uh, we'll probably hold ourselves in a bitter, uh, um, imbalanced space. So if possible, if you're in a space where you can soften externalizing and soften any blame that you have, no matter what reasons you have to justify why you're angry at someone or why um, this happened or that happened, you might have all the reasons why. But those reasons aren't going to help you move on. The, sometimes the best way for us to move on is to kind of gather what we've externalized, turn out, put our mirror up and look inside and start really looking at um, how can we get back in charge of this? How can we take responsibility for how we feel and give ourselves permission to move forward? So there's a sense of bringing what's outside inward, getting our power back and then stepping forward again and not allowing ourselves to be defined by what happened. So really taking our power back. So there's a reclaiming of power um, on Thursday for perhaps for some of us. But uh, there's a very strong leadership, confidence boosting sort of feeling here with the lion. If you have a special connection with lion, then this will probably have extra special meaning for you, which will be personal. And that will be fine for you. Trust your intuition always. So thank you. I trust that makes sense for your Thursday. Now I'm looking for the best card for Friday, the 23rd of November. So Friday, the 23rd. 
and we'll go with this card we've got another new animal card animal kingdom <laughs> okay maybe not so new isn't that funny 110 cards and we've pulled the same one for both days so repeat <laughs> what I talked about just then so Thursday and Friday there might be well there's definitely for the most part going to be some type of overlap so we're looking at reclaiming our personal power taking responsibility for ourselves and really stepping into our role as a leader in a balanced empowering way just because we're a leader doesn't mean we need to be a bossy britches and be controlling and demanding and aggressive in fact um, that's not usually a healthy way of being a leader so let's look at what our leadership role is and are we being as empowered for those that we are leading as we can be and understanding in an empathic way what our students or what the, those that we may be a role model for what they might be seeing from us so that's the line. I don't need to go into all the details I just went into. Let's now grab the theme card for Thursday and Friday. Do we really need a theme card? I'm going to pull one anyway. So we are going to grab one. I don't think we can do a hat trick. But the lion is in the deck. We'll see. So I'm looking for the best card for the theme. This will help us bring these days together if we need more of that. And uh, help us see the bigger picture for Thursday and Friday so the bigger picture the theme card for Thursday and Friday is this could it be the lion again here oh it's a featured card <laughs> oh, I dropped my paper I'm just getting too excited here it's been a big day at the end of my day now we've got the the solar cycle card you may not have seen this before my new deck has four timing cards it has further instructions here which say to take the next card from the top of the deck which happens to be my speed of light oracle and i love it when this happens let's see what it is it's tiger claw <laughs> look at this assertiveness and this confidence and this power energy that's coming through and there's a lot of that even if we just look at this as the sun because the sun is very much about the solar plexus it's about um, our personal power courage confidence the lion card came up twice same sort of thing we've got tiger claw as the um, extra card that comes with this so this basically talks about over the next 24 hours <laughs> even though this is the theme card but over the next 24 hours or so it's going to be important for us to focus on this this is tiger claw he's from my other deck card 40 he says stand your ground speak action courage this guy means business he wants us to get our claws into something especially something perhaps where we need to clear the air something where we need to speak up something that's become a bit tense or um uncomfortable the air between us and another person um, on some level and we may need to we may find it helpful to figure out when we stop blaming that person or stop externalizing uh, what we don't like about this situation or what that person did to us turn our focus inward which is what I was talking about with the lion taking responsibility for how we feel reclaiming our power and that will give us the confidence the courage that we need to speak up and say what we need to say to clear the air it's or I personally find it quite difficult unless it's very spur of the moment which I tend to the, I just tend to go silent when it's spur of the moment and I'm not quite ready to speak up I usually need to if there's a tension that's been building I usually need to prepare myself so and it kind of I see how this kind of all fits together like a story because if I'm angry at someone just as an example if I'm feeling angry or bitter or tense with something that's going on with that person 
it's very easy to slip into that blame and externalizing first. And then when we kind of um, get that energy out, if you like, get that frustration out and, and whatever we might be feeling, then we can kind of calm down a bit, take responsibility for how we feel, sit with how we feel, work out how we feel, perhaps writing in our journal and getting clear, getting clarity because clarity and confidence go together. We're not going to feel um, unconfidence but have clarity and we're not going to feel um, confidence and have no clarity they go together so if we're feeling unclear about something how to proceed we might need to boost our confidence first our personal power so as we boost our personal power we'll get clearer about how we feel what we want what we need to say what changes we might need to make what action we need to take over the next 24 hours so it's going to be quite short term When we feel that drive, when we feel that we know what we need to say, we know what we need to do, when we have that confidence and clarity, then we're being encouraged to take action in the short term. So this card, even though it says 24 hours, this is a short term timing card. So let's not sit in the clarity without taking action. Once we feel the clarity, we'll probably be prompted to, you know, the green light's going to go on and we need to clear the air. So clearing the air will bring about changes and that's okay. We have to be comfortable with that because we need to clear the air if there's tension that we feel. This feels very specific guidance. (laughs) So I trust it makes some sense to you and definitely trust your intuition, Mark. That's a great point. Our intuition is a really strong guide. So let's trust it as we um, feel upon or sense when and what we need to say. But increasing our personal power feels like um, what's coming through in every single card that's pulled for Thursday and Friday. So let's work with that energy. We are not victims. So let's turn that sense of feeling victim um, or what happened to us or blame and turn it um, into a a positive. Uh, Let's transform it into something positive and courageous and uh, forward moving, propelling, motivating for us. Let's work with it as a positive. So very interesting and very specific. So I trust that something there is helpful for you. And if it's not the specifics of what I was talking about, uh, the general feeling here is increasing our sense of personal power and feeling more confident, clearer about ourselves, who we are, where we're going in our life. What I've noticed over these last few days, because I've been so busy um, and in hindsight, I'm so pleased I took last week kind of a break going camping because it's just full on, full speed ahead right now. So it's so busy and um, I keep feeling like I'm on the verge of overwhelm and I know that overwhelm is just my lower mind blowing things out of proportion and me losing perspective. So I've had to really kind of... um, stay in my power and keep perspective so I don't slip or or fall <laughs> into overwhelm because overwhelm's not a good place, not a comfortable place to be in. So I have to keep pacing myself and keep perspective. So, you know, I'm, I'm sharing this really because there is a loss of power in overwhelm. There's a loss of power in being hectic and busy and having no time to do everything. So let's just keep our perspective as well these couple of days and um, hold in our power as strong as we can, feeling confident with who we are, comfortable in our skin. So thanks so much for connecting. I trust this guidance makes sense. It's so specific. It's quite funny how everything evolved. So I've used a combination of my speed of light and my new Animal Kingdom Oracle cards. If you want to learn more about either deck, um, please have a look on my website. They don't have to be combined. You don't have to combo them. It's just something that I wanted to do for fun, and I love doing it. It doesn't mean you have to. They work totally fine on their own. It's not compulsory. But have a look if you want to learn more, please, on my website. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the thumbs up button. Please show us some love. Please comment or share if you're inspired to. And if you want to connect more privately, please send us a message through our website. Part of being really busy at the moment is that I'm not having a lot of time to 
read and respond to all the social media comments and it's wonderful having so many top fans it just means there's a lot and lot of comments because I pretty much manage the pages and all my pages and groups myself so I'm not really able to like comments like I used to because it takes me like last night I was catching up on half a day and it took me an hour and a half just to go through all my pages and that's a lot of time that I, I really need to be spending creating at the moment. So I just want to um, apologize <laughs> that I can't interact um, by liking all your comments. Um, if I see questions that are important, I will answer them when I can but I'm not able to interact on social media like I used to be. Thankfully, because there's so many of you, so I really appreciate your um, interaction. So thank you so much. But um, you might not see me around as much on your comments as I used to be. So thank you for understanding that. Um, thank you so much for connecting. If you want to learn more about me and my work, please visit my website at templeofbalance.com.au. Um, there's lots of stuff going on and... I could reel off a ton of things for about 10 minutes, but I'm not going to. You'll see things as they come up. So uh, thanks for um, connecting today. Have a fantastic couple of days and I will definitely connect with you again soon. So thank you. Sending you lots of love from my heart to yours. Namaste.